Hi, it's Nicole here from Brent Developer Dietary coming to you from frosty Canberra. I'm in my nice warm house at the moment, but I thought I would wear my Samoy dog hair uh, beanie. The dog is still alive, it was just shorn, so it's so nice and warm, but not as warm as something I'm going to talk to you about today. So I would like to talk about chillbanes. It is that time of year when we start to see patients coming into the clinic with these little things on their toes, they're not quite sure what they are, sometimes on the top, sometimes on the tips. They start as like a little kind of burning sensation, sometimes a crack, and they're often red or mottled white or purple. So they come in saying, I'm not sure what's wrong with my toe. Now, chillbanes are a huge risk for ulcerations, and we're not talking diabetic type ulcerations, we're talking about people with poor microcirculation in the small blood vessels in their toes. So you don't have to have diabetes to be at risk of an amputation. We see a lot of vascular patients as well. So if you can prevent chillbanes, then you must much um, better risk, uh, less risk of having an ulceration on your feet. So my three top tips for you today uh, number one is going to rustle a few feathers. While my Samoy dog here was not killed to make my nice warm hat, these possums were. So in New Zealand, possums are a pest and the government has a culling program where they uh, reduce the number of possums and instead of destroying the whole possum, they keep the fur and they make it into socks and garments um, and then they're sold across the world. You can get these in Australia as well. So I know that might cause a few people to want to write in and complain and I'm sorry if I have offended anyone but what I'm telling you is from my clinical judgment, possum socks are better than alpaca, they're better than bamboo, they're better than um, merino. So uh, get yourself a pair of possum socks and you'll be less likely to get chill blains this winter. What you have to do with the possum socks though is make sure that you have nice warm shoes. So we have um, machine washable non-slip type slippers down at the clinic which are fantastic for around the house and when you're out and about you need to be wearing a nice closed in jogger, not a meshy one, um, like a leather jogger or a boot, um, something that's going to keep the warm air in and the cold air out and the moisture out. So number one is possum socks. Number two is good warm shoes and number three is my grandma's favourite. She used to use Vicks Vapor Rub on her toes before she went to bed at night. It's very expensive to warm our houses and she was on a pension. She couldn't afford to keep her heater on all night so she'd wear warm socks with some Vicks um, and then obviously your nice warm blankets as well. So Vicks Vapor Rub on the toes, put your possum socks on, put your nice warm shoes on and you're going to be reducing your risk for chill blains this winter. Hope that's been helpful and we'll see you for our next live video. Have a great day guys, bye.